Morning world. Welcome to Wednesday, 25th of August. I think it's time. We made a hole in that. I'm gonna get a wet ass tonight. Yeah, it's been a few days since you start sorry, haven't it? This could be a long day. Oh, I've got to put them in neutral. I won't back. Two charges. chain but still does the same job so a lot of the hydraulics of this machine actually runs off the PTO and the pump, but the crane runs off the trapped hydraulics. So I suppose it kind of shares the load. But as long as I've got these two pipes in the right way around, because they got twisted on there. And then to run the electric controls, we need power, and that's taken off the lights. So, to use this tool, you need all the toys. You need hydraulics on, lights on, and PTO. Right, move those blocks, and then we'll move them around there and put them to work. There's a few little bits in there, but nothing very serious. So I'll go get me headphones and we'll come back and start proper. I had him for the jackhammer. Actually, now we've got the roof on here. Probably while the mix goes on chewing up in there, 
I'll probably scratch out a bit more of the floor in here and then when we're done this guy could come back in under cover because the concrete panels aren't going on for well a few weeks at least and I can always move it it's better off in the dry Fedder's got a bit of a soft tyre so um, we'll go and put some air in it I think so and now you know why I have a compressor on wheels
Bye. That can go on and mix without me. Put the compressor away, kettle on, come back in half an hour and hopefully that lump will be gone. I can already feel what's inside that. So I'm going to give it to Andy. I already know what's in there because I can feel it. But he's not here so you can open that one. Oh, right. <laughs> There's two of them, I can feel there's a pair. <laughs> Actually, are they actual tools or are they just toys? <laughs> yeah. To be honest. You could point with that nearly, could you? You could. The writing on the back kind of looks toyish. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think they did all right. Yeah. Don't know how many blocks I'll get down in a day, but well, you won't if you're laying pebbles, <laughs> will not it? So... It'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got you got well, first. You could have got the red one or the blue one. I think I'll have the blue one. Give me the red one. Is it? I'll yeah. go with his temper. That's it. Yeah, go with his temper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you still got a few blocks. Oh, you've already you lit some more out since, have you? I've done a few. Well, no, I'm, they, those were the ones that were there. All oh, right, okay. I've been around that other side, so. Uh, okay. I'll get and use some of this, and then if you're free to give me a hand. Yeah, I'll come and load some out. Yeah, no worries. In a, in a minute, and grab your cup of tea. Well, that's why I've had it. Oh, you've I went it in there, it was already made. Oh, right, okay. So it was, it was like, glug, 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 glug. She made it half hour ago, I reckon, so. Oh, right. There's no rush. Just, you, you carry on for a minute, and um, I could always go on and put a bucket full on. Yeah, I'll just lay a couple over there, and then I'll yeah. come and give you a hand. I might, um, actually, I might go and get Donald and shift that plate of crap. Yeah, I'll go and put Because then we can get round, round there a bit then. Make it a bit easier. Yeah, all right, I'll go and get Donald. I'll do that. I've got another job. While that's cooking in there on the center, I can load out. Mr. Robin, he's there again. He likes to sit on top of that post and sing his little art out. 
Right, um, shredder's been going most of the day today. Um, I've been sort of loading it up, coming up and up in Andy, or doing other little chores around the place, then going down and emptying it. And So we've done three loads so far. This is uh, load number four, which should now be stirred up and chewed up enough that I can spit it out. Um, that'll do for today. I don't want to keep the tractor running too late because obviously I've got neighbors. So I think we'll tip this out and then that can go in the new barn for the night. First use for it. Reasonable load. That was heaped up and full an hour ago. Not now. The prop shaft on this machine is not new and I've decided to make it last a bit longer by keeping it straight as much as I can all the time when I'm using it. So just just keeps well it's less wear and tear on the joints. Um, I keep it greased but because of its age I want it to last. I only have the PTO on when it's straight so so while I'm turning around right here, I'll turn it off. the loads I did earlier. turns into that with the occasional lump
Better not hit me new burned anything. So it's not the neatest bit of parking in the world, but nothing else is going in here. I've got all the room. Yeah, that fits all right, isn't it? Hello, girls. How are you all feeling? Still looking a bit baggy, aren't we? Well, she's not, because she's got no car, but yeah. One or two of them are sort of kicking at the rudders a little bit because they're full and they're probably a little bit uncomfortable. But um, a few days and they'll start going down. Uh, I just decided so not to keep them in the barn in the end. Um, we were going to just cook them in with just a bit of dry grub, but you know what? Grass isn't that good out there now. I mean, we haven't had that much sunshine. There's not that much sugar in it. <sighs> I think they're better off outside. And the thing is, the barn's not being cleaned out. It's not bug free. There's more chance of them getting mastitis if I leave them shut in. It's just safer, I think, outside. So the mooing stopped yesterday morning about 11 o'clock, which was more or less 24 hours after I took the calves off them. So, because of course they can't hear the calves shouting at them, um, and vice versa, uh, they're not calling at each other. So the calves looked all quite happy in um, at the other farm yesterday. Um, I think Father looked at them again today. They're all still quite happy all together grazing. Um, yeah, happy days. They won't come back now, hopefully, before that's finished. But concrete panels could be another, could be another month. So, we'll see. I can't do much with the floor until the panels are in. Right, okay. It's six o'clock. So um, the scheduled upload for tonight will have just come on, so hopefully lots of you are now glued to your TV or to your computer screen or your tablet or whatever else, watching me make a tea of myself again. Thank you. So not a terrific amount of activity today on the build. Andy's been on his own today, in fact Andy's on his Andy's on his own for the rest of the week now, Dave's on holiday. Until next Tuesday, I think. Monday, Tuesday he comes back. Um, or is it bank holiday next Monday? Maybe it's Tuesday, don't know. Um, all the timber for the roof apparently arrives Friday, so I've got to find somewhere level to put that, um, because we want to put the steel in Tuesday. Once the first steel is in, we can start putting uh, floor joists, I think it is, and then from there we build up. Um, once, the, once that steel's in, some timber goes in, and then another two pieces of steel go in. I'm not sure. They know what they're doing, I don't. So um, It does seem to be massively over-engineered in some ways, but um, the whole idea with this extension was to just to build a box, um, and then everything inside will just be stud work, so just timber and whatever else. So, if in the future, a future resident of this house or my kids or whoever it is, if they want to just knock it all out and just have a big room, like another lounge or something, it could just be turned into a big room. So, I mean, as it is, it's going to be a reasonably large room. Um, so, where that still goes down the middle, that kind of marks the middle of the room or where um, everything this side is going to be lounge. Everything on that side is going to be bedroom, so we needed a bedroom big enough to put a double bed in, um, or probably for mother-in-law three quarters, so there's enough room to get right round it, so if she needs any assistance of anything, we can kind of get round it with the bathroom and shower room and, um, well, it's actually a wet room right next door. Um, and over here, it's going to be like a little tiny kitchenette 
we're not allowed a full kitchen planning or something um, so I think it's gonna be a kind of a worktop that comes out from here like an island worktop with some bits and bobs on it and um, you know I think there's like a hob and um, like a microwave oven don't think we're putting a proper oven in here I don't think she needs one because we'll be probably be cooking our meals anyway I say we I mean Julie so, yeah or she'd be coming through the door and, and helping herself in our kitchen whatever right okay yeah we are getting there though well there's gonna be in for Christmas uh, we had the window guys in yesterday and probably eight weeks lead on windows if we're lucky if we're lucky so and we wouldn't be that quick if it wasn't for the fact that we all know them and we get on very well and I supply the boss with firewood as it's perks you know right yeah, what are they up to? Oh, ah. Uh, walk his time. Hang on a second. Yep. Are we going to have the funny noises going across the field, is it? Not quite. Almost there. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, she's keeping up with the collies. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, see you in a bit.